this lesson. Today we're going to proceed on with uh, respiration, tissue respiration, and particularly start with aerobic respiration. We're going to interest ourselves specifically in the different experiments that you can carry out to confirm certain things in aerobic respiration and to begin with the experiment to show that oxygen is used during aerobic respiration. Remember we said that the component of air that supports respiration, aerobic respiration is oxygen. So we're going to see how do I be sure that actually oxygen is used up in order for, a, for respiration to take place. So what do we start with? We shall start with the materials required. We shall need a respiring organ or organism. And in this case, we are going to use germinating beans. These are the materials that we shall need. Germinated seeds, or in this case beans, water, delivery tube, a test tube, a conical flask, cork, a thread, and sodium peroxide solution. So, let us see how the diagram of apparatus should look like. This is our diagram of apparatus. This is our delivery tube. This is water, which is in a beaker or trough. This is our test tube. This is our core. Conical flask. And this is our sodium hydroxide. Solution. And of course, these are our germinated beans or seeds. So, we germinate the seeds by, by wrapping them in, in a moist cotton wool and then we, we leave it for some time, about three days. And when they are germinated, we are able to bring them up here and use them for our experiment. Why do we use the ones that have germinated? Because they are much, much active in respiration than those that have not. Away from that, we can also use living animals like a toad, a frog, a rat because they carry out respiration. Now, the whole point of using uh, living organisms is because they can breathe in and breathe out air and use oxygen to burn food so that they carry out, uh, that is, respiration. Now, when these beans carry out respiration, 
they have they produce carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide is absorbed by the sodium hydroxide. However, as they breathe out the carbon dioxide, they also use up the oxygen that is found within the air here. So remember, oxygen is being used up from the air for respiration. Carbon dioxide, which is produced as a result of respiration, is being absorbed by the sodium hydroxide. Now, that creates a vacuum. Now, this vacuum, uh, remember we have a delivery tube this side. Now, this vacuum causes water to move from, from this trough here through the delivery tube in a bid to attempt to fill up this vacuum and that causes a rise in the water level within the within the delivery tube that proves that actually oxygen is used up for respiration because being used up causes a vacuum and water moves up in a bit to fill up that vacuum and so there is a, an increased uh, level of water within the delivery tube and so that is the experiment to prove that actually organisms carry out respiration using oxygen.